what's going on everybody it's Mitch here with another video it is about a month until Valentine's Day and I decided that since all the Christmas is now put away it's time to add a little bit more excitement around here today I would kind of show you where it's all stored it's kind of stored in random places get it all out and see what we have and then put it all out and at the end of the video kind of show you what I ended up doing with all of it and I will get started. Part of what we have stored is in the hall linen closet. So as you can see here everything's just kind of packed. I pulled all of that down from the top shelf. It holds quite a bit of stuff there but within there we have our linen things for many different holidays, Christmas, you know, Valentine's Day, some Halloween. Some of the things that I got out of the linen closet are a couple of um, pillow covers as well as a throw. And let me tell you, you can get some good deals online. A couple years ago, I got this throw from LTD and I paid $2 for it. So you just never know what you're going to find out there, but I would say that this is definitely worth $2. And it has kind of on the back kind of a reverse color situation. It's probably not as Valentine looking as the front side. But, you know, it's almost as long as, as I am tall, and I would say that, you know, for $2, it's a pretty good deal. But the pillow covers I picked up from Amazon, I mean, you can just find anything at Amazon, as I'm sure you know, but we have so many pillows around, it's just the cheapest, easiest way to make a change in decor without having to take up a lot of space. I know a lot of you always ask, well, where do you store everything? Well, this is one of the ways that we can limit how much storage space that we need um, by just thinking smarter about it. Um, but again, we do have stuff stored all over the place. So there is that. An another thing that I do is I try to reuse things from other holidays that might work for Valentine's Day. For example, um, at Christmas time, I have these candles. I don't know if you saw them in the previous videos or not, but they are just some nice glittery red candles. Well, you can use those for Valentine's Day too. So when we were putting Christmas stuff away, I was just sure that I left these out and didn't store them away so I could use them again for Valentine's Day. And another thing I'm going to try, which I'm not sure is going to be very successful, these placemats that I used for Christmas. I want to see if I can just use them for Valentine's Day as well. For me, and justify spending more money on yet another placemat, and let's just be honest, we don't eat at the table. <laughs> we just don't. Uh, I would love to say that every night we come in and sit down at the table and have a meal. That just doesn't happen around here. We eat on the couch, holding our plates, nothing fancy. Uh, so I can't justify buying some placemats. If we were going to have company over, I might still flip over these Christmas placemats. Who knows? Uh, it's not like it would be a secret anyway. It's, it's on YouTube. So whatever works, works. But it's just another way of thinking smarter about what you have and making it work for you, saving money, saving space, and so on. We'll see how it turns out. I'm not even sure if it's gonna match with what we have, but you can let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree, or you can also tell me what you do 
to use for decor, whether it be using existing things from other holidays, or maybe you just go out and you buy new stuff for every holiday. But let me know what you do, I would love to hear it. Coming up on the corner cabinet in the kitchen, and in our kitchen, this is definitely a catch-all for just about everything because of how much space it has in the corner. As you can see up at the top, I have some Easter stuff hidden up there, and we have some 4th of July stuff in there, and I've already pulled out the Valentine stuff, which is not very much, uh, but we also have some of our everyday um, dishes in there as well that we use, uh, the black dishes. But other than that, that's kind of where our, I guess you'd say our holiday stuff lives, at least some of it. These are the pieces that I pulled out of the cabinet here. These are just some ceramic hearts. I bought these on sale from the Temptations website that goes with all the other dishes that we have. You, these can be quite expensive, but if you wait until there's not such a rush, you can get stuff like this very reasonably priced. These are just uh, spoon rests. They're kind of small, but I really do like them. Uh, they do come in handy and I use a spoon rest every night when I'm cooking so I always like to have some lay around so I can replace these with the black ones that I'm currently using. So here we have another little storage trunk that I picked up many years ago. It's just kind of like a faux leather storage trunk and inside there it happens to be storing some more of our holiday decor. We'll get a look inside there and see what we have. So we do have some more Valentine stuff stored in here. Box full of random goodies here. I'll have to take a look at those in more detail. As well as some books, kind of like the Christmas books that we have, um, but we also have now the Valentine books. And I think that's all that we have. These are just pictures. So that's all that we have in this particular trunk. Not exactly sure how much of this we're going to actually be using, but Inside this, I think it used to be a chocolate tin, but it was red and so we kept it anyway. But inside here we have some little stuffed animals and a little cute little Snoopy with little heart sunglasses on. And a monkey. <laughs> Just some random little fun things here. Oh, and then we have this really nice little heart with the key. And the key you can actually use to stand up the heart. Just some other random cheap decor that we use as filler to put in various places. And this is kind of a cute little Martini. It's a little miniature martini set. Tiny, tiny little set. And it even has a little shaker that goes with it. Little tiny shaker. Not sure if that's focusing. But we put that every year out every year. Don't know where that's gonna go, but we will find a place for it. But these books, they are a set of three, like similar to the Christmas ones, as I said. So we will definitely find a place to put these. This is the second 
one in the set and it's printed on all sides. And here's the smallest one. And this one actually has a little music box in it. But I probably shouldn't have played that because now I'm going to get copyrighted or something like that in this video. So we'll just kind of stop that for right now. And here's the largest one that we have. And we'll move on to the next area where I have stuff stashed away. The next hiding spot for decor is behind this chair. Well, it looks as though we have some St. Patrick's and Valentine's stuff combined in here. So I'll have to dig in there and see what we come up with. Another place where I have some goodies stored is under the TV. So there's quite a bit of storage in here. And as you can see, I have a bunch of different candle holders stored in there. And I have green, red, blue, and I have silver. So I'm basically covered for every holiday. <laughs> So I'll probably get the red ones out so we can use those uh, for Valentine's Day and see what I can come up with for those. Not sure if we have the best lighting situation here, but we'll see what we can do. So out of the cabinet behind the chair or the trunk behind the chair, I pulled out this platter here and yet another Valentine platter. Got a nice two quart bowl as well as a couple of other stackable bowls here. I think this one is one and a half quart and this one must be two. Two and a half quart. And we just use these for decor or snacks or whatever, but you know, it's festive. So here we are situated back on the chair. And inside the tote we have some more little heart goodies. And I believe that this is just a little tray to put salt and pepper shakers in. Yeah. So here are the little salt and pepper shakers. So we kind of have a little bit of everything. So kind of have more than I remembered. But we also have some mugs as well as some cute little spoons that go with them. And that's all that we have in this particular tote. And I will get the other tote here and see what we have in there. It's definitely heavier. So my guess is that I put the plates that we have. Yes. So in here we have our, the rest of our dinnerware, which includes the salad plates and the dinner plates, as well as a giant serving spoon that happens to have hearts on it that goes to that big bowl I showed you earlier. And we have more little bowls here for snacks or decor, whichever. And we have a random mug, but that's all that we have as far as our Valentine decor. So what I'm gonna do now is kind of turn the camera around and show you the mess that I have on the table now and we'll go from there. So there are the two totes that I just showed you 
full of goodies as well as all the stuff that I've piled on the table. Now that black piece there will not stay there. Of course, that was just left over from our previous decor that was sitting there. And have the candles in the back there, or the candle holders in the back. So that's all of the stuff that I have to work with and try to incorporate into our home to make it look festive. Now, obviously, it's not going to be setting all over the house like Christmas was for us. It'll primarily be in the kitchen, and I think that I will also put some of it into the shelf that's behind me here, which I can spin around and show you. Try not to make you dizzy as I move around. But here is where our what we have set up currently after Christmas. So it just seems kind of simple, but everything looks so plain and boring after all the Christmas stuff that we had sitting out. But like I said, I'm gonna try to incorporate some of the Valentine's Day decor into this. So what I'm gonna do now is turn on some music and start decorating and I will take you along with me. I will speed it up so you don't have to watch the whole entire process. And after we're done with that, I will take you around and show you everything that we did. Decorating's done, it's as good as it's gonna get. It is nothing like our Christmas video, but I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. And it's time for the tour. I'll show you around and see what we did. I hope you enjoy. If so, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button as well. And click that notification bell so that you are notified of when new videos come out. I try really hard to post videos each week and I really hope you enjoy them. I enjoy making them for you. And until the next time, I will see you in the next video. But don't forget to stick around for that tour. Thank you.